Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at how Newton's laws of motion can explain the motion of a rocket. So let's get started. Now the first thing to notice is that the launch of a rocket can be explained using Newton's third law. And remember when we're talking about Newton's third law, we can talk about the action and reaction forces, i.e. the Newton pair. So for the action force, we've got rocket motors pushing hot gases downwards. And for the reaction force, we've got hot gases pushing back on the rocket upwards. And that's shown in this picture here. So we've got the force of the rocket on the hot gases downwards, i.e. the rocket is pushing those hot gases downwards. And we've got those hot gases pushing back on the rocket itself, because that is where the hot gases are coming from. A common misconception that pupils often have is to think that the hot gases are pushing off the ground. But if you think about it, once the rocket has left the ground, it's still going to have some force acting back on the rocket, causing it to move up the way. So when it's nowhere near the ground, it can't be the ground that is playing a role here. So it's got to be the rocket motors pushing hot gases downwards and the hot gases pushing back on the rocket itself. So that's Newton's third law and Newton's second law explains why the rocket eventually moves upwards. So when the reaction force, i.e. the thrust, is greater than the weight of the rocket downwards, it will have an unbalanced force upwards and therefore accelerate upwards. And we're now going to look at how the air resistance, the mass of the rocket and the gravitational field strength all affect the motion of the rocket. So as the rocket travels upwards, the air resistance acting on it will increase as its speed increases. This acts against the motion of the rocket, so the unbalanced force will be reduced. And that's not really what we want. We want the rocket to be accelerating upwards with a big unbalanced force. So it must be that the two other things contribute to increasing the unbalanced force instead. So it says, however, as the rocket uses up fuel, its mass decreases and therefore its weight decreases because remember the equation relating mass and weight, W equals mg, and so if mass decreases then weight downwards decreases, so this must increase the unbalanced force upwards because the thrust force upwards stays the same but the force downwards decreases. So that's a good thing because it's contributing to a bigger unbalanced force upwards. Also, as the rocket gets further away from the Earth, the gravitational field strength decreases, causing the weight to decrease again. So again, from the equation W equals mg, it's not m that's decreasing this time, it's actually g that also decreases, so the unbalanced force upwards must increase. So all of this combined results in an unbalanced force upwards, assuming the thrust of the rocket remains constant. So we've got the mass and the gravitational field strength contributing to an unbalanced force upwards, and we've got the air resistance acting on the rocket, causing the unbalanced force upwards to be reduced a bit. But it's not enough to cause the rocket to not go anywhere. Here's a free body diagram that might be useful when you're doing problems involving rockets. And this shows the forces that we were just talking about. We've got the thrust force upwards from the rocket's engines. Once it starts moving, it will have an air resistance downwards as its speed is increasing. And we've got a weight downwards caused by the mass times the gravitational field strength. And if the rocket is going to be moving upwards, which is usually going to be the case, then it's going to be the unbalanced force acting upwards to make it accelerate in that direction. To put this scenario into context, I'm going to show you a little simulation now. And you can just ignore the text here, but if we click play on the rocket, you'll notice that its unbalanced force is getting bigger as the fuel runs out. And we'll play that again just to show you another thing. So you'll also notice that the weight force downwards is decreasing, which causes the unbalanced force upwards to increase. And lastly, just to show you that again, you'll notice the velocity time graph is not actually a straight line, it's more of a curve. And the reason for that is that the acceleration there is not constant. And the acceleration is not constant because the unbalanced force is not constant. It's constantly changing as the fuel runs out. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.